Did you know that giant rocks zoom around in space? Some are as big as mountains, others are tiny space pebbles. Today we're answering, what are asteroids? How do they form? And could one hit Earth in 2032? Grab your jetpacks, let's dive in. These rocks are called asteroids. They are like mini planets, but much smaller. Some are as tiny as a car, others are bigger than a mountain. Asteroids are always on the move, zipping and swirling through our solar system. It's like a giant cosmic dance floor out there. Sometimes these space rocks come close to Earth. Don't worry though, most asteroids are very far away, but it's still important to learn about them. Hi there, space explorers. Welcome back to Kids School. We travel through space, learning about all the cool things out there. Asteroids are one of kids' favorite things to study. They're like giant space puzzles. Come along with us, and we'll tell you all about them. We'll learn how they're made, where they come from, what are asteroid belts, where is it located, and if we need to worry about them hitting Earth. Get ready for an out-of-this-world adventure. So, what exactly are asteroids? Imagine a giant rock floating in space. That's an asteroid. Most of them live in a special place called the asteroid belt. Asteroids come in all shapes and sizes. Some are round, some are lumpy, and some even have moons. They are rocky leftovers from when our solar system was born, 4.6 billion years ago. Most asteroids that enter Earth's atmosphere burn up and become shooting stars. But occasionally, larger ones make it through and can cause significant damage. Let's learn more about the giant cosmic highway in space where millions of rocky objects zoom around the sun. This highway is called the Asteroid Belt, and it's located between Mars and Jupiter. The Asteroid Belt is made of rocky leftovers from the birth of our solar system 4.6 billion years ago. Think of it like space Lego blocks that never formed a planet. The belt is huge. It's about 140 million miles wide. That's like flying from Earth to the Sun 1.5 times. Jupiter's strong gravity, the solar system's bully, stopped the asteroids from forming a planet. Thanks, Jupiter! Have you ever played with Lego blocks? Think of the solar system forming like building something with Legos. Over 4.5 billion years ago, our solar system was just a big cloud of gas and dust. Slowly, this dust started to clump together. It formed the sun, the planets, and, you guessed it, asteroids. These rocky space travelers are made from the dust and gas that didn't make it into planets. They're like little time capsules from billions of years ago. One famous example is the asteroid that led to the extinction of the dinosaurs 66 million years ago. It caused massive volcanoes, wildfires, and bye-bye, dinosaurs. The crater it left was bigger than Arizona. Scientists study these craters to protect us today. Scientists are always watching the skies. They are making sure that nothing like that happens again. We've learned a lot from the dinosaurs. You've probably heard rumors about an asteroid hitting Earth in 2032. But don't panic. Scientists say the chance is less than 1%. It's like winning the lottery a million times in a row. Scientists are super smart. NASA watches over 28,000 asteroids 24-7 and they are developing ways to protect our planet just in case. So you can sleep soundly knowing that Earth is in good hands. Remember those smart scientists we talked about? They're like superheroes, protecting Earth from space dangers. They use powerful telescopes to watch asteroids. These telescopes are like super eyes, seeing things far, far away. If an asteroid ever came too close, scientists have plans to deflect it. It's like playing space billiards, they could use a special spacecraft to gently nudge the asteroid away from Earth. How cool is that? Ready to test your asteroid knowledge? Here's a fun quiz. 1. What do we call the giant highway of asteroids between Mars and Jupiter? A. The asteroid belt. B. The Milky Way. C. The cosmic speedway. 2. What happened to the dinosaurs? A. They went extinct because of an asteroid impact. B. They learned to fly and became birds. C. They moved to another planet. 3. What do scientists use to track asteroids? A. Binoculars. B. Telescopes. C. Microscopes. Ready for the answers? They're coming up. But not yet. Keep watching till the very end to see if you're a genius. Asteroids might seem a little scary at first, 
but they're also super fascinating. They remind us of how big and exciting our universe is. There's so much to learn about space, and that's what makes it so much fun. So, keep asking questions, keep learning, and keep exploring the wonders of the cosmos. You never know what amazing discoveries you might make. Who knows? Maybe one day you'll be the one protecting Earth from asteroids. Did you know that asteroids can be mined for valuable resources? These celestial bodies are rich in metals like platinum, gold, and even water, which can be used for fuel. Scientists and engineers are working on ways to extract metals and minerals from asteroids. They are developing advanced technologies to make this a reality. This could be a game changer for space exploration, and even for life on Earth. It could revolutionize how we think about resource acquisition. Imagine getting rare metals from space instead of digging them out of the ground. This would make many industries less dependent on Earth's limited resources. Not only could this provide a nearly limitless supply of resources, but it could also reduce the environmental impact of mining here on Earth. Sustainable space mining could be the key to a greener future. The future of asteroid mining is filled with possibilities and could open up new frontiers in both science and industry. It's an exciting time for space enthusiasts and scientists alike. So, as you keep exploring the universe, remember that the next big discovery might just be a rock away. The cosmos holds endless potential for those daring enough to explore. There have been several missions to study asteroids up close, each providing invaluable insights. One of the most famous is NASA's OSIRIS-REx mission, which collected samples from the asteroid Bennu, a near-Earth object. Another is Japan's Hayabusa 2 mission, which brought back samples from the asteroid Ryugu, enriching our knowledge. These missions help us learn more about the building blocks of our solar system. By studying these ancient space rocks, which are remnants from the early solar system, scientists can uncover secrets about the early solar system's formation and even the origins of life on Earth, providing clues to our own beginnings. The data and samples collected by these missions are invaluable, paving the way for future explorations and discoveries in space science. As we venture further into space, exploring new frontiers, each mission brings us closer to understanding the cosmos and our place within it, expanding our horizons. Asteroids have been a popular subject in science fiction for many years, capturing the imagination of audiences worldwide. From blockbuster movies like Armageddon to classic video games like Asteroids, these space rocks capture our imagination and curiosity. They are often depicted as dangerous threats to our planet or valuable resources waiting to be mined. In Armageddon, humanity is faced with the colossal task of stopping an asteroid from colliding with Earth, showcasing human bravery and ingenuity. In the classic video game Asteroids, players navigate their spaceship through a field of flying rocks, blasting them into smaller pieces to survive. Science fiction often uses asteroids to explore themes of survival, heroism, and the unknown, pushing the boundaries of our imagination. They serve as a reminder of the vast, unpredictable nature of space and the challenges it presents. But they also represent hope and opportunity as we dream of mining asteroids for precious metals or using them as stepping stones for further space exploration. How do you think asteroids will be featured in future stories and media? Will they continue to be seen as harbingers of doom? Or will they become symbols of human ingenuity and resilience in the face of adversity? Share your thoughts with us, and let's keep the conversation going about these fascinating celestial objects. If you're fascinated by asteroids, you might want to become an asteroid scientist. This field involves studying the composition, behavior, and history of asteroids. You can start by learning about space, taking science and math classes, and staying curious. Who knows, you might make the next big discovery about these incredible space rocks. Picture yourself working in a lab, analyzing asteroid samples collected from a distant mission. Imagine contributing to our understanding of the universe, and perhaps even finding ways to harness asteroid resources for the benefit of humanity. The journey to becoming an asteroid scientist is challenging, but incredibly rewarding. So, keep your eyes on the stars and never stop exploring. Oh, yes, here are the answers of quiz questions. Quiz number one, A, the asteroid belt. Quiz number two, A, they went extinct because of an asteroid impact. Quiz number three, B, telescopes. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more space adventures.